A few weeks ago I received an email from Ryan Popov of Popov Leathers uh, and he asked me if I would like to review one of their wallets. So I uh, had a look around their website and they do a lot of stuff let me tell you, a lot of very nice gear. Uh, so I chose very appropriately the English Tan uh, six card wallet that's in here and I also asked for red um, tiger thread so to sew it together with because I thought personally that would look quite nice. Let's take a look at what we got. There we go, it comes in a very nice box. Here it is guys, look at this. Very nice indeed. Uh, I don't think Mrs Rathbone's keen on the red stitching but I love it. I think it goes with it quite nicely. Uh, what have we got here? Oh yeah, we got the little um, business card. And you can see the uh, six pockets here for cards. And we even have a, to put your money in at the back there as well. And uh, let me tell you, this thing smells absolutely wonderful. And it's nice supple leather. Um, I've been using it for shopping trips, etc. for the last three weeks and it's got a few little marks on it uh, obviously as you're, gonna, as you're going to get when you use these things but it's such a supple leather it's really soft and really well made I like it um, the edges are quite nicely finished um, let's see what we can get in the line of cards in here shall we guys because it says six but you can actually get a few more in there yeah, I think it's to do with the way they've done the corners in here the little corner right down the bottom there so you can actually get more cards and you can see how supple this thing is look at that how soft and supple this cut this leather is absolutely beautiful bit of kit I love it okay let's have a look what cards we can get in here then cards go in here quite nicely and say so you can actually get two or more in the same pocket because that's how I've been using this side I've had two cards per each side like so you can see I've got uh, two cards in these pockets here apart from that top one there uh, this is how I run my uh, debit card and my other two uh, loyalty cards here. Um, you can get uh, English money in here. It, British money will actually fit in there. I've tried it, as you can see from the photos here. I've got a couple of uh, vintage dollar notes here. I got these back in 1985. They fit in there a treat too. Designed for um, so they can carry your money too, which is quite handy bill fold wallet folds up quite nice and small too I do like a nice bit of leather I mean I can smell it now even from this distance mm -hmm. yeah very nice it's just a shame you guys are not here to smell it as well it's really nice uh, very nice you can see I've got a scratch on it there from uh, obviously taking it round and you know doing stuff with it but it will get um, obviously get a little bit of character the more you use it and so you've got a you've got a uh, of quite a variety of uh, tiger thread this is imported tiger thread and there's quite a few different colors you can choose from as you can see from this little palette here um, you can even get your name engraved on it as well your initials can be engraved on it somewhere they do that too um, but this the quality and the finish of this thing is absolutely wonderful I think um, I'm well, quite actually quite pleased that he uh, he asked me if I would like to review it because it's uh, I've been taking it around and it always attracts attention when you're out and about. Oh, where'd you get that from? You know, it's a really nice bit of kit. And everybody, obviously, everybody comments on the smell. Nice leathery smell as well. Um, the fit and finish is just terrific. I think. I mean, you can see as I say, there's a few marks where I've been taking me uh, cards in and out. But you're going to get that. You know, a little bit of character. Um, I say this one's in the English tan, which I thought was very appropriate, you know, being English myself. And it's just amazing how it forms. You can see where it looks like it's been forming already to the cards that I've been carrying in here to this side and single ones this side. So you can get probably even three cards per um, pocket. Let's, uh, let's have a look. I'll see if I can get three cards in there. Right, there's two cards in that pocket already. Uh, the obligatory uh, coffee club card fits in there too. So that's three per pocket you can get guys three cards per pocket that's not bad at all really and it still uh, folds away quite nicely it's a nice 
compact little wallet as you can see it's not big at all uh, probably make a very good EDC style of wallet too so you can get more than um, six cards in here guys and the way they've cut the corners down here um, hopefully I can get a photograph of that for you but the corners are sort of like cut as you can probably see there they're cut at an angle each corners the bottom the front end of the um, you know the, the card holder here they're cut in like this here so that helps to get the corners of the cards in so it's not making it too bulky that's a very good design I think very well thought out of by uh, pop of leathers um, they do all sorts of other kit um, I would encourage you to use my link down below check out their website um, they're starting to do dog collars as well which looks interesting to me I used to have a dog many years ago which I still had a dog um, I would probably uh, want to pop off leather uh, collar for him as well Mrs Rathbone uh, is quite interested in their tote bags because she loves her uh, expensive handbags does Mrs Rathbone <laughs> dear me cost me a fortune she does but yeah, I like the um, this red tiger thread round here. It, it, the one on the, you see on the website has got a light colour uh, thread on there, but I I think thought this one would look quite nice. I don't know what you guys think, but I quite like it in the red. Uh, it's tiger thread. It's quite strong stuff, and it's all hand stitched, I believe, as well. I had to wait um, a little while while they uh, made this one for me. But it's oh, such a beautiful bit of kit. It really is. I like the way the edges are finished off here. They're not um. They're not waxed or anything like that, I don't think, but they uh, they still look quite nice. Very nice indeed. I, I quite like the thing. Very subtle and you know flexible, and as I say, it will get um, some character. The more you use it, the longer you use it, it will build up character. But it it'll last a long time, guys. Looking at this, you know the thickness of the leather here and what have you, it will last you for ages as long as you don't lose it. But I mean, yeah, it will last you for ages because it's not thin like a lot of the uh, wallets you purchase out there um, it's just beautiful I, you know the feel of it the smell of it I keep oh yeah lovely smell lovely smell let's just take a closer look at this guys fit and finish absolutely wonderful very nice indeed um, even the inside you can see the uh, the finish in here is nice sort of almost suede finish in here inside very supple maybe we can see down into the corner there there we go you can see how it's been cut down in the corner there guys so you can get the corner of your uh, cards in there without it bulging out and uh, looking untidy and being too thick okay then guys so if you're uh, in the market for a nice leather wallet or anything else um, you like you know EDC you know something to put your pens in your your knife your EDC knife in uh, dog collars are coming along quite nicely now uh, the company do a whole bunch of very interesting um, leather products including some very nice leather coasters tote bags which as I say Mrs Rathbone's interested in pop along use my uh, links down below pop along um, see what you think of the company um, the products they've got I was really um, I was quite pleased to be asked to review this wallet actually um, I was given the choice of uh, anything I wanted on the website but um, I chose this wallet here as I say I can carry a bit of cash in the back if necessary I can carry all of my cards in there quite nicely too as I say I've been toting this thing around for um, the last three weeks whenever I'm out shopping or buying petrol for the car or whatever it's been with me quite a nice bit of kit I think it'll last you quite a long time too um, the quality it, it will get some patina what's patina it will get some character as you can see here you know it's just in and out of your pocket uh, brushing against bits and pieces as you can see where my cards have been coming in and out just there look so there's a little bit of a patina we'll call it character because it sounds better I think over the years it but it will last you years and years and years too to be honest with you guys very nice little bit of kit um, I'm gonna have to thank Ryan Popov very much indeed cheers mate uh, for sending this in to me to review Wow <laughs> thanks very much Ryan um, yeah and, and once again oh man love the smell I'll tell you I'd love to work in that place because the smell of leather in there must be oh, 
yeah very uh, very nice indeed yeah all right guys so um pop along see what you think um great bit of kit i love it see what else you know see if there's anything you want on the site uh make a purchase guys i don't think you'll be uh, disappointed to be honest with you because i'm certainly not disappointed with it this is um the nicest wallace that i've got at the moment you know leather wise very nice i mean i've got some other ones that i bought in the past and they're not a, not a patch on this thing here this is really nice so as i say you know use my link below check it out see what you think um so you know make yourself a purchase you won't be disappointed it's really nice bit of kit is this so once again thank you very much ryan uh, pop of leathers check them out and yeah so i will catch you back here again at rathbone manor for another interesting review in the future check them out guys really nice thanks for watching guys and i will catch you later